So I'd like to welcome uh, Jay Baldwin to talk about stewardship. Good morning. Are you on? You're number five. All right. We'll try it again. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I am, uh, I'm really excited to be here and especially at this service today because I get to say good morning to the home team as well as the away team. So uh, it's quite a pleasure to be here. I also get to talk to you about stewardship and it's one of my passions and, and uh, something I believe in. And I get to share with you my thoughts about our theme, which is giving in grace, which is kind of a unique theme. But at this time of the year, we take stewardship, and while it means so many things, we really focus on pledging. And our pledge gifts are the most significant driver of success here in, well, I can't say that. They're the most significant financial driver of success here at the church. Without these gifts and without the generosity that you've had in the past, we wouldn't be able to support the campus that we have and do the things that we have. And so when you make your gift this year, I would like you to see if you could put aside some of the clutter of the world today and prayerfully consider your gift. There's so many things going on right now. Uh, inflationary pressures are, are really driving uh, the costs here at, at our beautiful campus, which is way more than a luxury. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had the fall fair and the uh, revenues of that were over $160,000. We expect that we'll have a net of around $100,000 to share with the less fortunate and needy people around the world. There's so many other things we do here. Every morning, every afternoon, every night, there are meetings going on to make our mis uh, ministry so successful. And then as Frank mentioned, the Family Promise Program. I mean, there are a lot of volunteers that fed and sheltered three homeless families here last week. So as you can see, our campus, while it is beautiful, and to others it might seem to be a luxury, we use every square foot here to live into our mission and ministries and to do God's work. So the other piece of inflation is that, and I'm sure you agree with the sentiment, that our staff really needs our support during these times. So, uh, so please, I urge you to, to think about it give generously and to give prayerfully, which leads me into giving with grace. And as I was trying to think about what giving with grace meant, the best thing I could come up with was a comparison. And so if you compare the way you think about or you feel when you pay your utility bill, right, it's kind of, eh, yeah, there's, there's nothing to paying a utility bill. But then think about when you give a gift to someone you love, while you're out and you're selecting that gift, you feel there's a special warmness in your heart, there's a joy and a love that is very meaningful. And then it gets doubled and tripled when you actually give that gift. So I would ask you again this year, to, when you're considering your gift, to give prayerfully and to give with grace. So thank you very much. It's not often a verger gets to speak to people. So thank you for listening to me. And thank you, peace be with you. That was fabulous.